The porcupine ranks third in size among the rodents in the world, it has a particularity that makes it unique, its body is covered with rigid and hollow quills. Despite having some resemblance to the hedgehog, both belong to different orders. The porcupine is the third largest rodent in the world, after the capybara and the giant African porcupine. Its size can vary depending on the species, but on average it measures between 60 and 90 centimeters in length and weighs from 3 to 16 kilograms. In general, two types of porcupines can be distinguished, those of the Old World, which are located in Europe, Asia and Africa, and prefer to live on land, and those from the New World, who live in America and have tree climbing abilities. Both types of porcupines have differences in their habitat and behavior. The porcupine has quills embedded in its skin and musculature, which vary in arrangement depending on its type. North American porcupines can have more than 30,000 quills to defend themselves against predators. Although the porcupine is not aggressive, it uses its quills to defend itself from the animals that attack it and protect itself from the dangers of the environment. Quills are a vital part of their anatomy, quickly replaced if any are lost. A porcupine has soft quills made of stiffened hair. This protects the mother from injury while giving birth. After just a few days, the porcupine's quills are coated with a substance called keratin, which hardens and creates the sharp quills that porcupines are famous for. Contrary to popular legend, porcupines do not shoot their quills. Instead, porcupines attack by bumping into you or hitting you with their tails, which deposit their quills into your skin. The quills are not poisonous, but they can be very painful and harbor bacteria from the porcupine's environment. The loss of the quills does not hurt the porcupine because the quills can be replaced in two to eight months. In addition to the quills, the porcupine uses smell as a defense mechanism against predators. Another of the porcupine's curiosities is that they also use scent when sight and sound have failed to deter a threat. Because of this, an unpleasant scent is produced on the skin above the tail in times of stress and often occurs at the same time as the erection of the quills. If all else fails, the rodent will proceed to attack. The porcupine is an adept swimmer thanks to the fact that its quills give it buoyancy, which allows it to move in the water as if it were wearing a life jacket. In addition, it can propel itself with a stroke to move forward in the water. Porcupines reproduce sexually. During the mating season, the male searches for the female and courtship occurs. After gestation, which lasts around 200 days, the female gives birth to a litter of young, which are born with soft, flexible spines. If you liked the video please like, subscribe and share.